The first step is doing a Google search of Google My Business Profile. Then you're going to want to click the link that says Google My Business Profile, get listed on Google. Then you're going to want to click sign in. I'm already signed into my email or Gmail. And then here they're asking you for your business name that you would like to show listed on your Google My Business Profile. You will notice when typing in your business name, if there are already existing businesses with that same name and it will even show you their addresses. Now the next step is going to be clicking on the name that you're typing in and underneath it'll say create a business with this name. This next page is asking you to choose your business type. Are you online retail where customers can purchase products through your website? A local store where customers can visit your business in person? Or a service business? Your business makes visits to customers. After choosing your business type, click the next button. This next page is going to ask you to enter a business category. I typed in house cleaning and then you're going to want to click next. Next Google wants to know where do you serve your customers? So here you're going to add the areas where your business provides deliveries or home and office visits. You see me typing in a couple of different locations in the New York area that we are going to be serving. Then you're going to click next. This next page is asking for contact details so you will want to enter your business number as well as your website if you have one. Click next and it's going to take you to putting your business on the map. Be sure to click this button to get alerts and tips, then click continue. This next page is going to ask you to verify your mailing address. So be sure to put in your office address or your home address if you happen to work from home. The following page is going to ask you a way to choose to verify your account. I chose text message. You can also choose email. Once receiving the code, click verify and it will take you to your code acceptance page. Click next and we're going to start adding on our services. Google also has a custom service. So if you don't see something listed that your company does provide, be sure to add that on. As you can see, I'm adding air duct cleaning and hoarding cleanup because it was not an option. I'm also going to be adding dryer vent cleaning because that was not an option to choose from. Also adding on vacation rental cleaning because that was also not an option. Once you're finished, click next and it's going to take you to the business hours page. Here you get to choose what days and what times you're open. These will all reflect on your Google My Business profile. So be sure to put accurate times. You don't want your clients calling you at a time that shows available but in reality, you're not. So if you're not open 24 hours, be sure to put the exact times and the exact dates. Click next. This next page is going to ask you if you'd like to add messaging. Be sure to click accept messages and click next. The next page is turn on quote request. You wanna be sure to turn them on and click next. It's important that you're able to be reached through the Google My Business platform. This next page is turn on call history. You're going to want to turn it on and click next. And then this is going to lead us to the business description page. Here you want to type in the description about your business. This will be showing up on Google business profile on search maps and other Google services. Once you're done filling out your description, put as much detail also as you can. You're going to want to click next. The next page, you're going to want to add some photos to your profile. I'm just quickly adding a stock image here, but you definitely want to use authentic photos, showcase your work and your employees. Then click next. It's going to take you to a page where it asks you to advertise in minutes. I'm going to skip this part because I can make this for a whole nother video. So if you want to just skip this and not start running Google ads, all you have to do is click the skip now button. The next page is just letting you know that your edits will be visible once you're verified. You can continue to make updates to your profile at any time. All your edits will be visible to customers on Google once you've been verified. Click continue and it will take you to your business, Google My Business profile page. 
And it's letting you know that at the moment, your business is not visible to customers. Now, Google is going to send you a postcard in the mail to verify your address. So you're going to log back into your Google My Business profile, click on the address if you have more than one, and then you're going to enter the code that was sent to you on the postcard. Be sure to click verify, and then you should be up and running. And there you have it. Your code is accepted, and now you are visible on Google My Business.